interviewing Zach from Southlake Connect. So my first question is, what are your goals for next season? Uh, I feel like my goals for next season are to have at least 2,000 rushing yards, or if not, mm -hmm. about rushing yards, 1,000 rushing and 1,000 receiving. I feel like that's a good goal for me to be able to come to the next level and get the offers from the colleges that I want to get. This is Eric Hamilton from Sideline Connect. My first question is, what made you select your number? Uh, I think Saquon Barkley. He's a great running back in the NFL right now, and I merely I like I like the way he runs the ball. And there's a lot of great running backs that were the number 26. And I think keeping that legacy within that number is something that I have to do. And every a lot of running backs do to this day, so I'm just staying with the legacy. Who would you say that you get your talent from? Your mom or your dad? Um, I gotta say my dad on this one. Uh, he he was more the athlete in her family. My mom. She danced a little, but he was more of a baseball player, football player, so I get a lot of my advice and skill from him. Who do you get your speed from? I get my speed definitely from my dad. He was great, great. He was very fast. Ran you know, football a lot. So my mom, she didn't really do track and stuff. My dad's mother, she was a track star. She was a college and a track scholarship. So a lot of the speed comes from my dad. So. Other than football, what do you like to do? Oh, I love fishing. Fishing is like probably my favorite thing to do. And then here and there, I play video games. But if I get the chance, I'll fish. So definitely, I love fishing. What do you like to tell young players to get, get them to keep going? That it's all a be patient. You might not see the the results in one day or the next week or in a month but as consistent as you can be with it the more it'll pay off in the end what would you say has been your most memorable game most memorable game was probably the rock wall versus rock, rock wall beat game, beat game. Mm -hmm. it was surreal because it's a rivalry, rivalry game in our county in our state unless it's almost 20,000 people are there almost every year, so it's walking in the field right before the game, seeing everybody in the crowd, yelling on the screen, and then seeing everybody say your name, yell your number, it's crazy. Almost gives you like mm -hmm. a experience. What type of workouts do you do? So, with it being quarantined, there's not a lot of gyms open, so I do a lot of calisthenics, which is like push ups, sit ups, pull ups. And then I go to the field at our high school and I. Throw up. I catch routes and I work on my skill stuff. And I was able, I was lucky enough to be able to have weights at my own home. So I lift weights every day. What would you say has been your most special moment in your career? I think my most special moment was probably when I received my first offer. It was crazy because it was very unexpected. And I was only 14. And it was it was like something that you never expected that young of an age. So it just told me that I have what it takes and I just need to keep working. So I really take this up. Do you beat your dad in a Oh, for sure. Won't even be won't even be a challenge. I could beat him going back. Texas football is difficult with so much talent. What made you want to stick with football? I mean, you see it all over the news. There's a bunch bunch of players, five star receivers, five star running backs. I just knew for myself that I had what it takes. And once I had that confidence built, I knew that football was where I wanted to be, and I knew I wanted to take that to the next level. So I just trained as hard as I could. So I could become the player I am today. Are you motivated to get some three-star to five-star? Oh, for sure. I feel like right now, it's good three-stars, all right. But by the end of my senior year, even next year, I want to be a five-star recruit. Because I know that I'm worth that, and I know that any college that gets me is going to be great to have me. How many days a week do you train? Every day. Almost every day. Every day? Every day. Almost Saturday and Sunday. Lifting, running, doing something, maybe just push ups, but it's every day. How many hours a day? Probably during the week, two to three hours. Mm -hmm. Here and there, and then on the weekends, probably an hour a day. Mahomes chased by Bosa. Do you have any pets? Yes, I have one dog named Jojo. He's a little shih tzu, him, and then that's all we have right now. Have you ever tried any other sports than football? Yes, uh, before I started playing football, I was playing soccer. And I then stopped 
excuse me, didn't stop playing soccer until about last year, but playing mm -hmm. soccer. When I lived in St. Louis, I played baseball through my whole life. That's something that I love to play. So baseball and soccer and then track, I love running track. You have a free game ritual? Kind of, I kind of, uh, so before we run out of the tunnel, I take a knee and I pray. So thanks for God to put me on the field to allow me to play and I pray that you let me play every game safely and then I don't come out with an injury and that I pray over my teammates so they the same thing with them I pray for a win. That's my The point. last question I have for you is what do you look for in a good teammate? Someone that's gonna pick you up when you're down. After something bad happens in the game, they're gonna come up to you and they're gonna say, Hey, you gotta gotta get keep going and stuff. That's it's a good team with someone that's always going to be have your back in any situation and that's not going to leave when things really bad is going to be, be with you at your lowest point. Thanks for letting me interview you. Anytime. Who's your biggest inspiration? Probably my father. He, uh, he's someone that I look up to a lot. He, he's always been there for me. He showed me things that I need to see and he's always keep he keeps it 100 with me. He never never like sugars anything with me. He always tells me the truth and that made me realize, with a lot of him telling me the truth makes me realize that I have a lot to work on. And with him doing that, he's, he inspires me every day. My last question is, um, how many offers do you have? So I have four offers right now. I have an offer from the University of North Texas, I have an offer from New Mexico State, and then the University of O'Connor the Word and then the University of Tulsa. Thank you for letting me in.